So we're very excited to introduce Omnichannel Retries. Um, it's an exciting uh, feature that we've been working on for quite some time. So um, yeah, I will get started with that. Um, yeah, so uh, one of the, you know, I guess important parts of Omnichannel Retries is when, when would we actually uh, use this? And uh, it's, uh, just as uh, you guys are uh, answering in the chat about like what do you do if uh, if someone doesn't respond well you're going to uh, try to message them again so that's the entire gist of um omnichannel retries and we do this when um the primary method of contact isn't successful and uh there's another uh, contact method available for us to send a message to And uh, the, you know, I guess the specifics of when, when this happens um, is when a delivery error is uh, received for a message. Um, these are typically for, for errors that we've identified as um, like a contact not being available or um, something along those lines. Um, things that are, uh, that we're very confident uh, means that we can't contact that patient over that, that method. Um, so there are some more uh, specifics about when and when we won't uh, uh, send these uh, these retries. Um, so if the message is successfully delivered, we obviously won't try to send another message. Um, but we we also won't do this for voice, um, mainly because there 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 isn't a whole lot of details about um, why that might fail. And then specifically for broadcasts as well um, for one of our um, one of our other products. Um, and next up, looking at uh, what omnichannel retries actually looks like um, in Luma. Um, so we'll help you guys get familiarized with what um, uh, what you'll see in the product and uh, where you can actually see uh, when uh, messages are being retried. Um, so this is an example of uh, a, a retry that was eventually successful, but as you can see, uh, we retried over SMS and then email, uh, and then we were finally able to deliver the message uh, over voice. Um, so that's kind of the the power of this is if uh, if a if a patient has these uh, has a contact for each one of these channels, um, we we have a much higher likelihood of uh, actually getting this message to the patient. Uh, and the next three slides will show uh, a couple examples um, of where in the product you'll actually see these retries and uh, what to look out for. Um, so uh, in, uh, in the chat tab in a, in a patient profile, you can see um, you know, a couple of messages here where um, we initially delivered uh, an email and then um, this one right here, uh, you know, it's, uh, this little small like retry icon is what we're using to denote that. And um, uh, we I think we should have an example, we do not. Um, but okay, yeah. So this little icon, uh, just like in the the image back here, uh, will will show details about um, the methods of contact that failed, and then if it was successfully delivered. You get these two check marks just like um, with these other messages that were delivered. Uh, the second place where you can find uh, undelivered messages that were um, that were retried is in the past messages tab for messaging activity. So um, you'll you'll notice for uh, these demo patients here, we failed to deliver over SMS and then retried over voice. And finally, in Hub, um, you see the very same information here. Um, and if you hover over these icons, you'll see, uh, just like in the um, slide a few like a few slides ago, uh, information about um, what was retried and then eventually what was successful. And for configuring settings, there, there are a, a couple of things that um, you have to, to set up. Um, specifically um, in the in the retries utilities menu. Um, so 
the settings are uh, pretty straightforward in terms of there not being a like a whole lot of complexity to them. Um, but the first one, uh, turning the the setting on, which obviously important. Um, the second one here, um, which we will go over in this slide, um, besides as the little tool tip says there, um, this is the, the order in which um, we will send these, uh, the, the retries. So um, by default, we're sending over SMS, voice, and then email. And then there's a, a fourth option um, to attempt an SMS over a voice contact if, if that's available. And we can discuss that in more detail if there are questions, but um, yeah. So this is the, the default. Um, if it makes more sense um, for, for your patients to have email first and then SMS and then voice, um, that's, that's why we, we provide those options. But by default, uh, this is what we suggest based on um, just deliverability that, that we have seen. Um, and these are the different message types that we support. So um, when, when configuring your account, uh, you know, we would, we'd recommend that you enable all of them for products that you use. And um, as we mentioned at the beginning, broadcast is not included in here. Um, but yeah, this is generally just a, a list of all of the products that we send messages for. Um, so that's, uh, uh, yeah. And uh, so we're going over omni-channel retries, which is um, kind of the um, like the more advanced version of the single channel retries concept. Um, but uh, this is a like a, a simpler version that just retries over SMS. Um, so for the the same contact, we'll send the same message again, um, potentially using a different number if those are available in your account. And looks like we are at the Q and A session. So, if you have questions, uh, feel free to leave them in Q and A or in chat, and we will answer them for you. Yeah, feel free to add any questions you have or kind of any comments. This is um, time for for us to chat together about about this new feature here. So, um, we're happy to to help answer anything you have. I think we have a first question in the chat here. Is this feature something that needs to be turned on or is this automatic? Um, so, oh. oh, you go right ahead, Taryn. All right. Um, yeah, so back in the, I'll just go back in the slides. So um, the this is where we're configuring the settings. Um, this is something that um, can be turned on in your account. Um, you'll have to reach out to your customer success manager to, um, to, you know, probably get get help with setting that up. But it's it's really just uh, one little toggle to, to turn that on. And it looks like we have another question. Oh, same one from Brett here. Is this an add-on service? So yeah, like as, as Taryn said there, please, um, we can get you connected with your CSM and um, get this feature enabled for you. Any other questions or comments? Looks like we have a question here from Tara. How is this reported? Um, so reporting uh, in the product, uh, there are, um, you know, so there, there's the reports tab, which will show your deliverability. Um, we uh, will consider a message undelivered, um, which will count against deliverability if we aren't able to get um, a retry out. So there are obviously going to be, you know, if you, um, if we fail to deliver two messages and then the final one uh, gets delivered, we consider that all as one delivered message. Um, but if you, if you retried two or three and we never got one out, that's considered one undelivered message.
awesome. And then it looks like Melissa has another question. Um, did you hear correctly that this will work with any kind of outreach method? Um, any outreach method other than broadcast. Um, if you have a specific example in mind, that might help. But yeah, broadcast is the only one that we've decided uh, is not not super effective. All right, looks like Tara with another one. Will these work with referrals, wait lists, reminders, recalls, et cetera? Yes. All right, folks, we'll give it about 30 more seconds if there's anything else that you would like to add as for questions or comments. All right, it looks like there's nothing else coming in there. So if you would like to go ahead and just move on to the next slide there. So we appreciate everyone joining us um, for the next office hours on January 19th of the new year. We'll be covering bedrock. So um, we recently released some best practices, which can be found in the Help Center and uh, will be discussed in upcoming newsletters, but we will also tackle this topic um, for the next office hour session. So Bedrock, using best practices to optimize for patient success. We hope you can join us in January. Um, but otherwise, as I mentioned before, the session has been recorded. So please feel free to share with any of your staff members that were not able to join us today. Um, our whole team is very appreciative of you taking some time to learn about omnichannel retries, and thank you for, for interacting um, with, with the Q&A. Um, we appreciate it. So everyone have a great rest of your day, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you all. Thank you.